I'm Redonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Taylor with me. Um, if you've been watching for a while, I did her hair back in the day. You say back in the day, right? Yeah. She's all stinking <laughs> cute. So she's seriously one of my favorite clients. I've had her since she's been little. And anyway, we're just really good friends and she brings her fun friends. And so we just have a good time all the time. I wanted to show you, we are going to change her hair up. So um, you can see the length here. Um, the breakage and stuff through this area, we are going to bring that up just to thicken it um, and get this healthy. And obviously when you do that, it's going to grow a lot, lot better. Um, the other thing we're going to do is not only the cut, I'm going to do some money pieces here in the front to brighten this around um, her face. And then I'm going to show you how I bring some color up into here she wants low maintenance up here so if you want a low maintenance color this is going to be a good one because we are going to brighten it around the face here and a little bit through here but that can all grow out and still look pretty so it's it's low maintenance um okay now what we're going to do so we don't have to have this hair i keep telling her because she obviously is nervous it's it's scary cutting your hair when you have long hair. Um, so I keep teasing her about it, but I'm really, I'm gonna take care of you. <laughs> I won't scalp you. Okay, so we're gonna take these ends. Um, I'm just doing like, I wanna call it a rough draft cut here. <laughs> we're just taking the length off so we don't, you know, need to deal with that. So, okay, there's that. And then obviously in the haircut, we will go over that. But you can even see with just that, how much um, it just looks thicker now. So, okay. Now I'm going to mix up the bleach that I'm going to put in the front for the money pieces. Um, depending on their hair color and how bright you want to go is what you're gonna put on her hair. I am going to do a 40 volume. I like to use my oil. That protects the ends when it's pulling out because the, the protein molecule attaches to the pigment. So when you're like taking that pigment out, it takes out the protein. So I like to put this oil in um, just so it helps protect that when it's bringing the pigment out. So I have the oil in there. Um, I am doing a 40 volume. And then another thing I'm gonna do is I like to do a little bit of conditioner and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that up here. Um, but I just have a little bit of conditioner in one and then I'll show you what I do with the dry brush. Okay, so for the money pieces, that's where we're gonna start, okay? I'm gonna take this front section And we are gonna take it really thin. And the reason being is I wanna show you guys. So through this area, she's been coloring um, for a while now, so it's darker. Um, so that's why I'm going with a 40 volume to help pull this out. Um, anyway, that's why I'm doing 40 volume. And that's why I want to do little, little sections here. So I'm just gonna go straight across. I'm gonna pull this back. Okay, now what you can do I'm gonna take this conditioner, it's just a light conditioner, and I'm gonna put it through this area. Okay, to about here. Then, I'm gonna come down here, this is where the money pieces are gonna be, and I'm gonna saturate this really good. Okay, the reason I put the conditioner there is so you don't have a blunt line. 
through these money pieces. Now I'm taking an extra brush, this is a dry brush, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda come down through this area. Okay, that way, it's just kinda mixed in there with the conditioner. And that way you won't have just a straight line, okay? That just kind of helps ease that. And then, um, of course, I just always, just after I do that, then I just kind of wipe that off on the towel. Then I'm going to put a foil over that. And then I'm just gonna fold this into thirds. And then I'm just gonna bring that over and this over. And the reason I put that on is so that color doesn't come up on that other color, if that makes sense. It's flat, then when you fold it, no matter where you, where you fold it, that color is just in there like that. Okay, so here's another little section here. And like I say, if just if you can go small sections, not if you can, I just, I would. <laughs> go really small sections if you can. Especially if you're trying to pull out color. Okay, gonna do another foil. Okay, gonna put a little bit of conditioner through this area. gonna really saturate this now if there's any ends that see this this end down here is a little bit lighter so I just kind of brush that I don't saturate that as much just kind of brush over that because you don't want those ends to be super super blonde and fried <laughs> you want to protect them so anyway, just make sure this is really good and saturated. Okay, take your dry brush, just kind of push that down in. Okay, and then wipe that dry brush off on your towel. You can see I'm just kind of putting those blonde ends to the side. Then I fold here, fold one more time, and then I just fold that over. Okay. You doing good? Yeah. Are you getting nervous? <laughs> we, did, we did cut some of that hair off, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Okay, conditioner up through this area. Um, and like I said, if I, I think I told you guys, she's not wanting, you know, a lot of maintenance. So this is good to leave her color there. Um, and the reason I put the conditioner clear up here is to hold that foil on why I put this, this color on. And then you can see, I take this hand underneath and that's kind of what's holding it, why I paint this bleach onto that area. And if you don't want the money pieces as blonde or if you're not pulling out color, say it's on virgin hair, you can use a 20 volume to lift it. You know what I mean? You don't have to use the 40. I just choose to use the 40 because she has color on there and we want it pretty, pretty blonde. I'm gonna bring this hair up. Those ends, those ends right there are a little bit lighter, so I'm not putting that over in the color. Just kind of push that aside. You can see they're a little lighter. Okay. 
Now the dry brush, just kind of go up into that. So there's no straight line there. Then wipe it off on your towel. In a foil, you're gonna fold. And just fold these over. Okay, so you can see how thick this is. I'm gonna go probably just one more, maybe two. I'm gonna I'm gonna look and see where I'm at. Because you obviously want a big enough money piece, but not crazy. Make sure, you know, you get both sides here in that foil. Yep, I think that's about how thick we're gonna wanna do it. So this will be the last one. Again, just take that conditioner in there. Okay, saturate this area. And you can tell even up here, I'm kind of doing some a little low, some a little higher. this up and then just kind of I'll just go a little bit on those ends just make sure that's good and saturated so yeah just talk to your client you know See how light they want it, depending on how light they want it is how much lift you're gonna do, which is the volume. Sorry, I'm just making sure this is really saturated. Okay, and then the dry brush. Just kind of bring that conditioner down in. the first time, hold up, and the sides. Okay, I'm gonna fold this bottom part up just a little so it's not in her eyes. Okay, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Is that bugging you? No. No? Okay, perfect. Okay, so obviously when this, this comes down, you want your sides to be able, you know, to be blonde too. You just don't want a little piece. So I am gonna come on this side. I'm gonna do a little bit through this front area. Especially if there's little hairs up here, you wanna get those little hairs. So I'll show you in just a second what I mean by that. So you can see I kind of took it on an angle gonna put that there and then we're gonna lighten this area so you can see because there's little hairs on this side so when that part those you know those colors are gonna come this way but we can't leave that dark underneath. Does that make sense? It'll look kind of funny. So we wanna bring that blonde into these sides. And then obviously the dry brush, we're gonna bring that conditioner down in.
Okay, you doing good, sweetie? Yep. Excited, nervous, a little bit of both? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of both. Okay, now this side. Again, I'm just gonna come take this little section here. It'll be fun. She hasn't had bright around her face for a while, so it'll be fun. Okay, dish her up through this area. Oh, nice. I like it. <laughs> Sydney's plants foam. I love it. making sure this hair is down there. and just fold over those corners. Okay, so this is how, I'm gonna double check. This, this is where you part, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wanna make sure where they part so you know where to place the color. Um, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of white back through here. Um, we are gonna leave a little bit of this warmth through here, but we want, you can see how the warmth's down here. We're gonna bring a little bit up through here. No, not a ton because we want it to be like bright here and then kind of fade out to like a little bit warmer, okay? So we're gonna do a few of those through this area. Now, the way you do that, take a diagonal sec, um, put that down there. Add a little bit of conditioner through there. Same thing, just saturate this. And that conditioner down the end. Another foil. Okay, so that will be one underneath. And then I want the top to come down and, and have some of this come over it. So what that means is I'm gonna leave some of this hair out to come on top of it. And then I'm gonna do one underneath. Again, I'm not doing real thick, you know, weaving up through this area. conditioner and remember where you add this blonde remember that's where it's going to come from so I'm going to do a couple in each side and a couple in the back because um, like I say I want it more like bright at the front of her face and I want it to go more subtle in the back so we don't want a ton but we do want a few pieces around to brighten it. Just making sure that's really good and saturated so it can brighten good.
Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna go over to that other side and kind of match what I've done over here so it looks nice and even. So I'm gonna come over here, kind of go on a diagonal this way. You doing good, my dear? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna put that. Okay, weave that. Conditioner. Now remember like on the other side where we had started the blonde, just kind of keep track in your head where you put that so it can even out on both sides. And say somebody has, you know, a part that's way over, remember, that on the one side, you're gonna have more hair that comes over. So you're gonna wanna keep in mind where that hair is gonna fall so you know how much blonde to put in each side. We've been excited. We've been planning this for a while to kind of change this up. So it's kind of fun. It's good, good. Okay, I'm just wiping this off. Remember to wipe your dry um, brush off each time. Okay, and then you can see on this side where the part is about how much hair I've left out to come over that, which is about that much, okay? So I'm gonna move that, kind of come a little bit on an angle here. And same thing. show you what to do there. You can see I'm kind of covering those, but not. All this is really saturated. You can kind of move the ends down. is going to fall over that okay so right here we're going to want just a little bit through this area so again i'm going to take a section so we don't want it all over take a section down i'm going to just kind of oh there we go <laughs> push this to the side there So you can see, see that's where it's gonna start. This is where the blonde's gonna start. So you can see where it will fall. Getting those ends. Keep brushing over those a little. But really saturating these through this area. 
Okay, dry brush. Make sure that hair stays out of it. Okay, so that one's gonna fall here. Now I'm gonna do one on this side. Same-ish area. Okay, now I'm gonna bring her all the way, I'm gonna turn her this way, you guys, so I can put the, another foil right here, so, okay. Hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna do it backwards this way so, <laughs> so you guys can see that. So conditioner. Then the light here. Just gonna get a little bit more on my brush. Okay, that feels pretty good and saturated. Just going to kind of go over these ends a little bit so they brighten a little bit, not too, too much. Just kind of push those to the side more. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna just have a little bit of hair to, to fall on it. But this one, we're gonna come straight across. So when this falls, because this is gonna fall this way, we're gonna have one that falls straight back. That was a little bit too thin, because you wanna, Remember about the pieces that are going to fall down into here. You want to keep that, you know, about the same, obviously. So you don't have a big chunk over here and, and it's too fine right there. So just kind of remember what you're, how big you are weaving. Just going to add a little bit more 40 volume to my bleach. Um, and the reason I started in the front with 40, um, you know, because sometimes people will start with a 20 volume or something and then bump up to 30 or 35. It just depends what, you know, whatever you use. But uh, the reason I started with 40 is because she has color on her hair first off. So we want to pull that out, but we want it brighter. So even though I'm putting 40 back here and we'll wash out you know, at the same time. So this hasn't processed as long back here. Um, Cause some of you are probably thinking that, how do you start with the 40 volume and end with the 40 volume? That's why, because I want it bright around her front and I want it to be more subtle as it goes back. So that is the reason for that. So you can see how that end is lighter. I'm just gonna kind of barely cover that because you still want it to go blonde like the rest, but just not as blonde. Let's slide that over. Make sure it's covered. And then the dry brush. Okay, now if their hair, if they have virgin hair and you're doing it for the first time, you can do this, you can keep going down. She already has the warmth through here and she's wanting to go, you know, as least as possible as far as like 
regrowth and redoing. Like she wants easy maintenance. So we're leaving what's here with the warmth, bringing these brighter through this area. But if, if it's virgin hair and there's nothing underneath, go ahead and you can add some more down below, um, just like I did here. But, so we're gonna let her process, then we will show you the haircut, and then obviously we'll get it dried out so we can see, it'll be so fun. So thanks for watching, and we will see you in a little bit.